See the game more clearly with high-definition spectacle lenses from Norville Opticians. Henry, um, how good was it to get back on against Newcastle and, and get the four-point uh, bonus point win as well? Yeah, definitely. I mean, firstly, from a personal perspective, um, just delighted to sort of get through 18 minutes. Um, Shoulder felt pretty, pretty solid. Uh, the boys played well, and, and like I say, a bit of a monkey off the back with that f that bonus point um, because we managed to get fourth try in the end. Uh, played some good stuff, so yeah, from a personal point, delighted to be back. Um, didn't feel too rusty, luckily, uh, and the boys played well as well. So it's, it's happy, happy. Yeah. Wings with Johnny May obviously being out has been a position where Gloucester haven't had you know perhaps as many choices as they'd have liked this year. So I mean frustrating when there's an opportunity to play a lot of games in a row to get to pick up that injury. Yeah, exactly. That was that was my mindset pretty much as soon as it happened. Um, you know, as a player you never like to see anyone get injured, but it's a bit sweet for me when Johnny gets injured because it does it means I have more opportunities coming my way and like I say I was hoping to put a string of games together, you know. Sod's law, unfortunately that didn't happen. I had to miss quite a few weeks, but uh, I'm back now and looking forward to uh, hopefully stringing those games together now. And obviously injuries are part and parcel of rugby. How used are you now to dealing with that? No one likes it, but I suppose you've still got to react in the right way, haven't you? Yeah, um, it's definitely it's an interesting one, uh, the, like the sort of mental side of, of being injured. and I think that's almost as hard as dealing with the actual rehab and stuff like that. It was frustrating for me and touch wood, I've been fairly lucky with injuries so far in my career. Um, so with this one, I, I knew that I'd sort of, I might struggle a bit like, to, to sort of um, mentally just to sort of not be, get frustrated and want to keep playing rugby. But, you know, the best thing for my shoulder to begin with was, you know, do very little and, and, um, and obviously playing no rugby, no ball in hand and that sort of thing. But that slowly, slowly got back into it. And, in the end, you know the, the boys keep saying, and you enjoy, you know, having a bit of banter with them and that sort of thing. Um, so uh, the eight weeks went pretty quickly. So I'm great, I'm glad to be back there. Yeah, absolutely. And at the moment, they don't come much tougher than Wasps, do they? They're the form team in the land. I think they've won the last six games. So how did Gloucester stop that? Uh, it's, it's a tough one, really. I mean, Wasps. Are, we know they're going to come with full, full of confidence. Like you say, they're in great form. Uh, they've got the strike runners all over the pitch, but this week's been very much about uh, rather than just trying to contain a, a good WASP team, uh, you know, trying to impose our game on them. Um, you know, they've got a great offloading game. It would be key to try and get two-man hits, wrap up the ball if possible. Sometimes that's easier said than done, but I mean, we've just got to be physical in every collision. Um, and your concentration is going to be key. You know, they can they can come from anywhere. We need to be switched on 100% of the time. Um, Otherwise, just like I say, focus on our game as well and uh, don't dwell too much on them. So.